do have uh, some very clear memories of uh, the Manhattan Casino and the area. Uh, when I was a kid, our house was located two blocks uh, south of the Manhattan Casino, and I could hear the music being played by the bands that would come there, be it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday nights. And also, I could smell the barbecue from each barbecue stand. <laughs> yes. The jewel of 22nd Street was the Manhattan Casino, and people often think of it as only as a place where great musicians came, and boy, did they come. But it was also like a cultural center. I know Gibbs High would have, hold his proms there. Uh, the civic organizations and women's clubs would have their affairs there. It was the place to be. I was in high school at the time, so I had to be like uh, 15, 16, 17 years old. And I wasn't old enough to go into the Manhattan Casino, but I could hear all the music. Right across the street from the Manhattan, it's Snow Peak, that me and my buddies, we'd pull the cars up, we'd have them lined up. We'd all be on the hood of the car, leaning back on the windshields, listening to the music coming out of the Manhattan Casino. I was not old enough to get into the Manhattan Casino at the time, but I do remember uh, my mother's club had a big affair there. She said, oh, I want you to do something for our club. I said, what you want me to do, Mom? She said, I want to pass out uh, the uh, party favors and hats and little beep. So, oh, I said, this is my chance to go up to the Manhattan Casino. But you had to stay back in the cloakroom. You couldn't come on the dance floor because that was not allowed. Black musicians and artists couldn't play in the larger venues. So throughout the South, they played in places like the Manhattan Casino. So the Manhattan was also a part of the Chitlin circuit. But if white people wanted to hear these world-renowned musicians, they still had to come to the Manhattan. Ray Charles wrote a song in about 1950, 51, while he was uh, playing the Manhattan, I think. And it's called the St. Petersburg Florida Blues. And it's uh, not the greatest song you've ever heard. Uh, I think the line in it is, I left my baby there down in St. Petersburg, Florida. I could say that the Manhattan Casino uh, was uh, good to me. In fact, that it struck a, a, a light under me to enhance and continue what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and I'm doing that. I'm playing music. <laughs>